I'm trying not to swing around wildly in my chair. There were two main things that attracted me to this particular program. In the first place, the faculty were top-notch, very prolific, very well-regarded in their fields, but also really cared about their students and were really devoted to being good teachers as well. The other thing that I really liked about this school was the flexibility of the curriculum. We have these studies in courses, studies in Shakespeare, studies in British literature, studies in poetry, and faculty can teach those courses however they want. And what we tend to do is tailor them to whatever project we're currently working on. So we bring a lot of passion and interest to the material, which is a win-win for us and for our students. I'm a very hands-on researcher and I'm an interdisciplinary researcher and specifically I'm interested in the connections between literature and art history and literature and book history. And so I've had a lot of adventures. I have traveled internationally to seven different countries. I've toured castles. I've read manuscripts that were kept in the Tower of London. I've read the only surviving copy of a 1493 book. I've just gotten to see objects that uh, make me feel connected to a past, objects that most people never get to see. Those experiences have been the most exciting learning opportunities that I've had, and I do try to share that with my students. We go to special collections and work with rare books. I've led study abroad trips to London and taken students to see plays at the Globe. I've taken students on campus to see plays. I'm always trying to bring my love of hands-on research to the classroom. I also think that what we do is important because it builds a skill that is harder to measure than something like writing or critical thinking. And it has to do with empathy. When you're an English major, when you're reading for class, you're inevitably putting yourself in someone else's shoes every time you pick up a text that you wouldn't otherwise read. And what that means is that when you're studying English, you're just constantly practicing seeing the world from a different perspective. Honestly, I don't think there's anything more important that we can practice. <laughs>